Hello everyone and welcome to your 16th grasshopper tutorial and this is where we're going to learn about the move and the scale definition. So the move in grasshopper is different from other 3D modeling programs because like in other 3D programs like Maya, 3D Max, Rhino, SketchUp, whatever, when you move an object from one location to the other it just moves it like it changes the location in its x and y and z axis but when you're doing it in grasshopper like it creates copies of it so it's more like a, an array kind of thing like an array copy but it's it's a move and usually like architects or architecture students when they're creating skyscrapers they usually uh, use the move com uh, like definition to create the slabs because it's like really easier to do it that way so um we're gonna start by actually creating a slab so just say we just want to make a slab just like a thin box or something so let's say yeah this should be enough and try to make it kind of looking like a slab or something now I want you to make sure that uh, you know how thick is your slab when you're creating a real skyscraper so don't just create a skyscraper and not know like how thick the slab should be it's usually between 40 to 60 centimeters depending on your design and like you should do your research like don't just create any skyscraper and not know like the exact um dimensions of your the height of the like the height of your floor and how thick is your slab and which structure you're gonna use so so many things anyway so i really want this to be in our um like snap to the x and y axis so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a line so this is also in rhino i didn't go to grasshopper yet so just click here and get the midpoint get the other midpoint and then move it now before you do this make sure that grid snap is on so you can actually snap it to the grid we have in rhino so just click move and just click in the mid and then go on top and try to snap it to your uh to the origin point so this here is is fine um okay so let's start now this slab is a bit thick so and actually the floor is huge so anyway this is more of a hypothetical project and uh, we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you how to do it other than actually if the dimensions are right or not so first we're gonna do is open grasshopper and double click write geometry right click set one geometry okay so move you can do it you can find it here in transform and like the third uh, group we have here the move there's a rotate there's the orient there's the mirror so most of the transform um, definitions is like here in your third group. So you can just double click and write move and that'll be fine. So if you just connect your geometry to the G, we can see that I created a copy. So we have one down here and this one here. So yeah, we have two, it created a copy of the geometry we have. So any geometry actually you can um, like connect it here whether it's a sphere or a pyramid or whatever so I'm just gonna show you how to make like a skyscraper with, with a bunch of slab and um, so the T is actually this is where the fun part starts the T is the direction and usually in a skyscraper the direction is in the Z and by default it's like I think one one step if you just get a series this is how you create your skyscraper. So this is connected. You can see we have, by default, a bunch of uh, geometries stacked on top of each other. And here are the numbers you can change to like define the height of each of these, like the distance between these geometries, which is like here the height of the the the, the floor or the um, like how high is each slab. And if you just get some sliders, right click, hit edit and just go to 30 okay and just put a number and then connect it now this is copy now if you're not sure 
like uh, which is which like which number controls which uh, the height of the slab which number controls the number of it what I want to do is actually just experiment like if you just move these uh, the slider you can see that this one controls like the height of the first floor if you move this you can see this is the height of all of the floors and the count here is like how many floors you have so let's say you want to save the definition and you like you might forget like which is which just double click right here height of floors hit ok now 10 is a bit high so just go with 8 7 is fine and this one is number of floors hit ok so let's say I want it 10 floors 7 each and the height of the first floor that should be fine ok so this is basically how you do a skyscraper, really easy in Grasshopper. Um, I really explained this, I think, in um, tutorial 4, I think, but I think the audio was bad and I was asked about it. So this is how you do skyscrapers in Grasshopper, like in general. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is something called the rotate axis. So just hit rotate and go choose this one, rotate axis. And we just connect the geometry here. You can see that the axis was created by default this way. It's rotated at like 90 degrees, I think, or something. And what you want to do is, the, like, the, the, the axis by default is this way. So it's going, um, go to the right. Yeah, this is the axis here. If, what you want to do, if you want it to be like set vertically, you have to actually set your line. So just right click on X, go set one line, go to your top view, and go to your midpoint, go to your front view, and then like hit shift to make sure that it's not with an angle. And there you go, we have it set in the Z axis. So. Uh, we have two copies, so we'll just unpreview this one. Okay. So, rotate axis. The second one is the angle, and this is also where, like, it's really fun. So just, what I want to do is copy your series and connect it. And you can see that we have, it's rotated. And you can actually play with the rotation of each, um, slider. So, yeah. This is just how you do things. Now what I would recommend actually is try to figure out how to uh, play more with the rotation axis in here. And I think there's like a million um, tutorials on how to do the, how to make really interesting shapes with these, um, with the rotate axis and um, yeah, it's fun. Like if you just stop here, it would look like something professional and like, like an architect did it or something, but um, yeah, I would be really careful with the with the with the dimensions and with the program you're gonna create in skyscraper. Like skyscrapers aren't that easy. You really have to know like how high is your floor, how thick are your slabs, your structure, and stuff like that. So be really really careful when you're designing skyscrapers. And uh, yeah, I think this is it. If you have any questions, um, please ask in the comments. Um, if I can answer, I will. If I can't, then I'll just maybe try to i don't know search it or something so yeah this should be it for the move and scale oh no scale all right sorry <laughs> i didn't explain the scale um scale is pretty direct like scale also creates a copy of your geometry or like whatever you're doing so just double click hit scale and if you just connect you can see that it's scaled here by default the factor is so I'll just say, I'll give you this, and the factor is like how much, like, how scale do you want it? Like, you want it to scale times 0.5, times 1, times 2, like, by 2, by 3, by like that. So just type in 2, and you can see that it scaled it by 2. So like, if you want to preview again, you see that this was the, the original, 
and this is the scale so just be careful like when using the the euclidean or something like that uh transform tab you have these and all of them creates a copy of whatever you're doing so like be careful which is which and like which one to preview and which one to not preview so yeah the scale is pretty pretty direct um yeah so anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next tutorial